Yeah. So, okay. What are you up to now, Anna, <laughs> other than uh, <laughs> teeing all my courses and, and helping me out a lot? Apparently you have a full-time <laughs> job or something. Yes, I do. I started at the beginning of October. Um, I work in the assurance department at Grant Thornton. Um, and in I'm actually, no, not in Halifax. Actually, I'm in St. John, New Brunswick. <laughs> Something tells me you have um, lots of scenic scenery around you and um, it's, it's not too, too bad of a commute to work. Nope, it's, I, I literally live on an island, um, but I can still get to the office in 30 minutes, which is really nice um, because it's not like I don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. to get to work. But when I come home at the end of the day, there's like no one around, it's just quiet. And it's a really nice like break from everything else that you deal with. So, yeah. Would you say, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Or I've, I've also <laughs> learned that there's one in between, it's the ambivert. I am definitely an introvert. <laughs> and yet um, when, uh, when we talked about it and I said, Hey, I would really love for you to do some in-person sessions with our students in the fall. Mm -hmm. Uh, you said yes. And I you did. Not only said yes. Um, but you absolutely killed it. Why would you put yourself through that? Cause it's not, it's not easy. Yeah. I mean, I think part of it was because, you know, I was them last year. So it wasn't something that was like completely out of my wheelhouse. Like I knew I knew what we were talking about and I knew what it was like to be in their seat. So it wasn't something that was so out of my realm that I couldn't do it. Um, and it was also something like that I could see myself potentially doing in the future. So I was like, it's better to figure it out now and see if it is something that I could see myself doing, or if it goes horribly wrong, then at least I know and I can like move on with my life. <laughs> It's true. Sometimes uh, we definitely have um, a picture of in our minds what something will look like, like karaoke, and mm -hmm. then you actually do it and you realize, oh, maybe that <laughs> karaoke is not for me, except karaoke isn't most people's, um, you know, career ambitions. So when you yeah. say something that you may want to do, mm -hmm. um, profit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Anna, you will be a tremendous prof and I'm so honored that you would, um, that you continue to work hard. Um, so some things that I want to highlight um, for our students that uh, may be watching this is that um, you take feedback very seriously, um, providing constructive and positive feedback, um, accurate marking, uh, questions, and even our students that try, because I'm like, no, all emails come to me so that, you know, I, essentially I'm like, I, I don't, I don't have enough of a budget to pay Anna for everything. <laughs> like Anna can't do everything guys. Um, and so, you know, it even hurts you. I know when you're like, oh, these people, they emailed me. Can I answer it? And I'm like, no, Anna, you got to tell them to email me back. <laughs> and so I just want to say kudos to you because you definitely have um, the spirit that it takes. And it's that generous, that intellectually generous, that, you know, um, there's no, this is a pretty bad job if you um, if you need to start at eight and leave at five, but it's an awesome job if you want to start a little bit later or earlier, take some breaks in the afternoon and work sometimes in the evenings or, you know, take a Tuesday off, but work on a Saturday. So um, definitely for your intellect, for your career ambitions, as well as your ability to work evenings and weekends and also enjoy like a, a Tuesday off, I think it'd be a really, really good good fit. And I'm excited to see, see where you continue to take yourself. Yeah.